It's time for a VHS and DVD and Blu-ray update for March 15th, 2021. For this update, I got two VHS tapes, 12 DVDs and two Blu-rays. Um, For this update, I got two VHS tapes in the mail from eBay over the past few weeks. Um, And yesterday, I went out to three different stores. I went out to Gameplay, and I got six DVDs and two Blu-rays. I went out to Pets Rec... Then Pat's Records, I got four DVDs. And then Dollar Tree, which I found two DVDs. So, yep, I have a total of 16 movies for this update. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's get this started. First, we're going to start with the two VHS tapes that I got from eBay. And this first one is a demo VHS. And both of these tapes are bid auctions, which I won. This movie is released by Sony Pictures Classics. The seller gave me this little sheet, this paper, which is pretty cool. This is a Columbia TriStar demo tape. I don't see a weekend year call on this tape. And the other VHS tape I got is a rare Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment VHS. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. This is the second VH Columbia, Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment VHS tape that I want to bid. That I got one as a bid auction from eBay. The other one I got is Bob and Ted and Carol and Alice. This is a 1980 VHS release. Even though it's got the Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment, this one, first of all, this one's a former L from Winchester Data Pro Products, Inc. Even though it's got the Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment labels, and there's something on the back of the label, this is, act this is actually a reprint because it's printed off the 41st week of 1987, and it says RCA Columbia Pictures on it. So this tape is a reprint because this tape just starts at the film's Columbia Pictures logo, then the movie. So yeah, I don't I don't I don't know why Columbia RC has a habit of reprint these Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment titles instead of using their original tape master, but that's okay. But this is a rare tape, so I couldn't pass it up. So yep. Now let's go on to the DVDs, in which the first six are from Gameplay. The blockbuster date is. March 16th, 2008, and this movie's from 2005, so I guess this movie didn't get a DVD release until 2008. This is a full roll from Blockbuster. Now this, now this I originally got a Blu-ray from this from Dollar Tree back in September 2019. But however, that Blu-ray copy was 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 faulty. It wouldn't it wouldn't work on my Blu-ray player, so I just had to th throw that out. And but and since I found this DVD at Gameplay yesterday, I decided to go ahead and pick it up.
And this one was originally from, has a Netflix sticker on it. So I guess it was originally from Netflix or, or rental from Netflix. It's in an uncut eco case. I have the first Bridget Jones movies on movie on DVD, so I decided get so why not get the second one? And this and the first movie was, was released on video by Miramax, while the second one was released on video by Universal, which Universal did co-produce the first movie and they did and they produced this the sequel as well. So I guess it's a C studio switch wherever it was. I think I might get Bridget Jones's baby someday to complete the collection. I have the 2009 remake of Fame on Blu-ray, so why not get the why not get um the the 1980 version? This one's an MGM film and this is owned by Warner Brothers because the movie the MGM movies and the MGM films up until 1986 are owned by Warner or owned by Turner, which is owned by Warner Brothers. If you guys already knew, no. It actually comes with the the CD soundtrack, which is pretty cool. This one's an out of print title, so I say so why not get it? Even though it was ten dollars, but I did use a card that a card I used that you could get used DVDs that are ten percent off for used DVDs, so I think I might got this for eight dollars or whatever. Rest in peace, John G. Allison, who directed this movie, who passed away back in 2017. Yeah. I don't know why a lot of celebrities are, celebrities are passing away quickly. Here's the last thing I got from Gameplay. This is a five film pack. I do have the special edition DVD of Parenthood. And I have House Sarah on VHS. But I did not have these three other movies. Which are Bowfinger, Dead Man, Don't Wear played and the lonely guy and since The DVD of Bowfinger is still the same as the 2009 DVD, even though it's a reprint for 2008. And Dead Men Don't Wear Played and The Lonely Guy is the disc 2 version of the Steve Martin Wild and Crazy Comedy Collection for 2007. And the Parenthood and House Center DVD is from 2009. And since I have House Center on DVD, I think I'm going to replace my VHS copy because I'm trying to replace some of my VHS tapes with DVDs because I'm... Because I'm... So I'm running, I'm almost running out of room for VHS tapes and some of my movies. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm, um, I don't want to run out of room. So, yep. And now, and next four DVDs come from Pat's Records. This one's my first Platinum DVD I have.
I have the first Ice Age movie on Blu-ray, so I decided to pick this one up because it was 95 cents, and I wanted to, and I decided to go ahead and watch this again because I haven't seen this in a while. I think I might try to get Dawn of Dinosaurs, but I don't feel like getting Collision Course or Continental Drift. And unfortunately, Blue, Blue Sky Studio, Blue Sky Studios is going to be closing down this year for for stupid reasons. I'm not going to show the rest of the advert, the ads, because I just want to get this video done. Yeah, I don't know why. Um. Why Blue Sky Studios is shutting down? I, because this, I don't know because of Disney or what. Here's the last DVD I got from Pat's Records. This one's a former from Blockbuster. This mo this movie's from Think Films, and the and it was released on DVD by 20th Century Fox from Entertainment. And here are the and the last two DVDs are the one that come or the two that come are from Dollar Tree. Now this DVD originally came in a different eco case, but but that case was, the case was damp, but the case was broken, and so I decided to replace it with a, with this e uncut eco case. At least the DVD is still fine. And here's the last DVD for this update. This DVD is a, and the, now the this back on the DVD case says this is a 2020 re, reprint from Syndrome Entertainment. Mint. And the disc itself is a reprint. Well, but the disc itself is still the 2016 DVD from Entertainment One. And lastly are the two Blu-rays I got from Gameplay. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. And here's the other Blu-ray I got. This Blu-ray is originally purchased from Half Price Books.
This Blu-ray itself is a reprint from 2014. I do know the original Blu-ray Blu release came out in 2011. But I'm sure this Blu-ray disc was uh, still have the same message as the 2011 release. And this part of the case, Blu-ray case, is broken off, so it won't close, but some other day, but maybe later this week, I'll try to order another Blu-ray case from eBay. And that's it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for March 15, 2021. And, and as for the one VHS tape that I was supposed to get in the mail from eBay, which is Inherit the Wind, the Nighttime 9 TV movie, which is a demo tape, um, that, that, I believe, I, sadly, I believe that VHS is lost in the mail, so, I don't know what's happened to it, so, it looks like I got ripped off on that one, I, I should have just asked for a refund, but, I didn't know what to do, so, so yeah, I wish this COVID thing did not affect the post office, and the post office needs to get their stuff together, get back to work, so, that sucks, but, Anyways, hope you like this video and see you later.